Hello and welcome to Sisberg. Why it is important to have an incident response plan in managing risks in your business? If you are someone in your organization responsible for managing risks, this video is for you. An incident response plan is a critical component of managing risks in your business. Whether it's a workplace accident or an emergency, such incidents can be traumatic for your staff, you, and your business. Having a well-defined plan in place can help ensure business continuity and mitigate the negative impact of such incidents. An incident response plan should cover the following. What actions need to be taken? How these actions will be completed? Who will complete them? When creating your incident response plan, it's essential to consider how you and your staff will respond to different scenarios. This includes physical danger. Your first priority should be ensuring everyone on your premises is safe and receives medical attention if needed. Feelings of stress, confusion, or anger. Incidents can be emotionally charged. Consider how you and your staff will manage these emotions while responding to the incident. Negative media attention. Incidents can attract media attention, which can be harmful to your business. Consider how you will handle negative media coverage and how you will communicate with stakeholders. Negative responses from stakeholders. Incidents can also result in negative responses from your stakeholders, such as customers, suppliers, or partners. Consider how you will manage these responses and address any concerns. Limited time to make decisions. During an incident, time is of the essence. Consider how you will make quick decisions without compromising the safety of your staff or the continuity of your business. Key staff being unavailable. During an incident, key staff members may be unavailable. Consider how you will manage the situation without their input or involvement. Interruptions to your key business operations. Incidents can disrupt your business operations. Consider how you will manage such interruptions and minimize their impact. Here are the six crucial elements to include in your incident response plan. First, immediate response checklist. Create a detailed checklist of the first actions you'll take when activating your plan. This may include evacuating and contacting emergency services, ensuring everyone on your premises is accounted for, briefing staff, and identifying immediate damage. Second, evacuation procedures. Clearly explain how people will evacuate your premises. This includes providing a floor plan of the site, an evacuation map with the meeting place highlighted, key contact names and phone numbers, a staff and visitor log for the day, and a log of people present for completion once in the evacuation meeting place. Third, emergency kit. An emergency kit is a pack of important items, documents, and equipment that you may need in the event of an incident or emergency. Keep your kit somewhere easily accessible so you can grab it if you need to leave quickly or evacuate. A typical emergency kit contains checklists for potential disasters, for example, cyclones, severe storms, floods, bushfires, IT threats, first aid supplies, torches, radios and batteries, key computer data backed up onto an external hard drive or USB, key contact details, for example, staff, emergency services, your accountant, power and water companies, important business files, for example, insurance policies, your business continuity plan, financial documents, and other items you may need, for example, signs beacons. Fourth, roles and responsibilities. Define which staff will be involved in an incident response and what their duties will be. This includes nominating an incident response team leader, identifying key roles and who will fill them, and defining the responsibilities of each role. Fifth, key contact sheet. Develop a comprehensive list of important contact information. This includes a list of internal contacts, example, staff, a list of external contacts, example, security services, insurance companies, utility companies, and emergency services contacts. Sixth, event log. Use an event log to record information, decisions, and actions during and immediately after an incident. 
This generally includes the date and time something has happened, details of the decision you are making or action you are taking, and who was involved. The event log can be useful for post-incident analysis and learning. I hope you find the information in this video useful. Do write to us if there is any specific topic you want us to cover next. Do you have an incident response plan in place to manage risk in your business? Please leave a comment on how you manage incidents in your organization. We will be happy to provide feedback. Thank you for watching.